Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys a bit of a history lesson and intro to the new Van Cleef. So, Van Cleef has been the same hero that he has been uh, up until this very last patch. Uh, he was introduced in the first batch of new heroes, I think it was still like 2019, very, very, very early on. And his hero power was for each minion you bought this turn, plus one, plus one to a targeted minion. Ability costs one gold, obviously once per turn. And Van Cleef was one of the best heroes in the game during the early parts of his release. It did change back and forth, but overall he is one of the best, and at some cases the best hero in the game. And uh, as time went on, Van Cleef got worse and worse, the game got faster and faster, the minions got stronger, the the minions did more damage, leveling was more important for some heroes and the heroes that it was less important, they were just way better at mid-range strategies, so Van Cleef just, was just no good at anything, really. And uh, yeah, that's, that's just the case of the game. Last patch, however, uh, he got a uh, little bit of a buff, plus two, plus one per minion that you bought. And I didn't think this was going to be a really big deal. I thought, yeah, he's going to get a little bit stronger. Uh, Van Cleef ended up being one of the worst heroes in the game leading into this patch, from the best to the worst, through the no change at all, just from power creep and the game getting way faster. He gets a buff. I thought maybe he'd go like tier 3, maybe super optimistically near the top few positions of tier 3, which is still not very good, by the way. But no, it turns out Van Cleef is one of the best heroes in the game. I was actually really surprised to see this, but I've seen it on a few different sources. I've seen it at different MMR brackets. That's just a fact. Van Cleef is at the very top of tier 2 right now. He's uh, between 5th and 10th best hero in any MMR bracket. And I was really surprised to see this because, you know, if he just gets a little bit more attack, uh, typically, like, getting more health is much stronger than getting a little bit of attack. So I didn't imagine it would make quite a difference, but it actually does seem to make quite a difference. Certainly with Van Cleef, you're still playing mid-range strategies, but he competes a lot better with with the field basically and uh, you can enjoy actually maybe even getting top placements with him he's very good at fourth third and second a little bit less good at first but better than a lot of the other mid-range heroes which is why he places so well hope you guys enjoy my clip hope you learned something and we'll see you guys next time i really want to play these oh you're sniping again all right all right i'll play along Got beasts and max. I guess Van Cleef can be okay. I was gonna concede there, but all right, fine. Ukraine song was lit. Dude, Ukraine song was like weird. What's your strategy this time, partner? Uh, it felt like I was being yelled at. Just yeah, I don't know. It was weird. Dude, Forsen might actually be in chat now. Yes, totally. <laughs> that that check mark emoji totally checks out. Yo Crip, can you help me with BG? My chat thinks I'm terrible. Wow, that's actually pretty that's pretty good. Uh I didn't realize your chat your understood BGs to a level where they could correctly analyze that you're bad at it. Um yeah, I guess maybe I can do something. <laughs> Alright. I'm thinking of dropping the thing on the uh, anomaly, but maybe I'll do it on the rock pool. I've got some fresh for oh wow, that's actually really good. All right, let's uh, let's do this. You're down a minion and up a goal. Wonder. I probably should keep the Murloc now. And that card's probably worth it at this point. You joke, but Forsen got the 4.5 KMR in like four days. Yeah, he's like pretty good at video games. With that said, it's really fun to joke about Force. Are you like new at this or something? really good copium he can be 
nice work out. Keep if, up the if, he, if, he, if he wants. He just does he just doesn't want to be good at, at the games that he plays sometimes. It's a it's a personal choice. Uh, I think you would appreciate it if you respect that decision of his. In all seriousness, you can't lose MMR until you have 4000. Getting another 500 I think is two wins because at 4k MMR you still get MMR at like 200 at a time. But still that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Get out Murloc. Oh, shit. Okay, these are some pretty not cool attacks. Your minions really pulled their weight. This is really shitty. Alright. Why not sell the 5 1 Murloc? To hero power for plus four, plus two. I don't know, because having more cards is good, but I, I see your point. Does he not do anything else but talk about another streamer all day? Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is talk about Forsen all the time. And then what's going to happen is people who normally watch Forsen and are actually interested in playing Battlegrounds, they're going to come over here because I keep trash talking him. And then they're going to realize in the span of about five seconds that I'm much better than him at Battlegrounds. And then I will convert those viewers to crit viewers. And then, like next week, when I play Path of Exile, they'll just go right back. So no harm done. Oh, it's a fucking brand, dude. There's no way I'm winning turn six against brand. But one thing I can do is, uh, yeah, level up and try to snipe some Murlocs above his tavern tier. There's no Pee Wee Mobile yet. I'd be surprised at how many viewers Force and I actually share. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm sure there's some crossover. What am I freezing? Wait, you think I'm gonna play Murlocs as Van Cleef? Are you serious? I'm playing Murlocs because they're the best cards I was given. I'm obviously taking that Hydra on turn 7. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Average age in this chat is about... I think it's uh... 30 or so. 30 to 35. If I go by YouTube numbers. No way. I've literally shown it on the stream before. That's that's the... I have more people over 65 than under 18 watching. There's no cap. Exactly what you were looking for. It's good to get some minions in play. Trust in the light. Harness yours. Okay. <laughs> Your viewers have priority access to COVID vaccines. Yeah, dude, hook it up. Let's go. Does Twitch skew younger than YouTube? Are you kidding me, dude? Let me tell you a story about the internet. There are children using grandma's YouTube account on an iPad before they can walk. Now, when they head over to twitch.tv and see some hot tub yoga posing like full asshole on the front page like people have done regularly in recent times, grandma's gonna take that tablet and burn it. Grandpa's gonna take it. Your 
Your minions really pulled right. their weight. What am I doing with this? Got a demon there. It's a pretty bad demon though. My shield for Argus. I offered to coach Forsen. He said he's just fucking around and it's no big deal. So that's why my YouTube average is so high, because kids on grandma's account? Exactly. Guys, if you don't believe me that there's an unreal amount of kids on YouTube, go dig into the recent cryptocurrency scam on FaZe Clan. You will promptly see that in almost all of their Twitter comments, even some admitting to scamming the very fans that are commenting on their posts, they're like, don't worry, dude. Tomorrow's a new day. It's gonna be great, dude. I love you. My mom and I, we watch you all the time. Keep your chin up. I think those are the fucking comments. Play, you could leave the Murloc and sell Argus the Hero Power of the Hydra. Dude, I'm playing a Light Fang build. I don't want to split the buffs. See, like here, I'm gonna play that and then sell that. There we go. Beasts. Let's actually try this here. The fuck is the lag? Uh, Hearthstone has a memory leak. Uh, I'm playing for six hours, so it's laggy now. This is your game. Wait, who are you playing again? You're playing Mutanus? Alright. Doing great this is there. uh this is a pretty good board for me. I don't know if you're gonna win, bro. I don't know. Sell more shirts. You want one? Yeah, we got merch in the description. If you want them, go buy them. They're there. I don't, just don't. Like, we never really, really pushed merch way. that much. But since, like, COVID times, we're definitely not pushing merch that much. You're down a minion and up a gold. Hey guys, very well off Twitch streamer here with zero impact to his income because of COVID. By the way, could you buy some merchandise from me? Because, uh, I mean, I feel like I used to sell more merchandise before and now my merchandise sales are like a little bit lower. So like, if you could please, I mean, I don't know if you, if you, if you like the stream, maybe. Alright. Alright. Yeah, hashtag support local streamers. Wait, what? Oh, we got mechs and uh, what's her face, so that's fine. Actually, the mech is gonna be the next thing to go for sure, yeah. Murlocs. Okay, I'm thinking we, we give that a few stats there. All right. Do you actually have merch? Yeah. Restart client. I'm just gonna go to sleep after I after I finish this game. So, and then tomorrow when I play, I'll I'll start the client again. How's that sound? Fuck. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. That's good. 
good. It's actually pretty good. that history so he tied the cat and the cat got murdered by the guy I just beat got it and he tied George and George is what the fuck can you guys do damage to each other please yeah there's some collusion poison first uh, I mean based on his history that this should be enough damage It is not enough damage. Holy shit. Oh, wait, it's enough damage. Yeah, we're, we're good. really garbage super garbage um beast huh yeah I guess I can do that Buff the Battlemaster? Nah, the Battlemaster is mostly just a filler in case he's playing tokens. Yeah, we've been to Burn Ki Bird Kingdom Niagara Falls. I actually think we have a streamed VOD of it on on Rania's stream. It was like three years ago or something though, so yeah, you, you gotta go digging deep. Okay. Wins a win, though. He'll take it. <laughs> Dude, have you won, like, a round against me today? <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, but, like... <laughs> good at this. You got a long way, it seems. Does that count? Oh, we tied round one. Alright, I guess that counts. Go ahead and hire one of these. So bad. Elemental. Oh. I probably should do that. It's good to get some minions in there. Right. What am I even looking for? Uh, Light Fang. Uh, I'm also looking for Divine Shield. Uh, for my Amalgadon. I'm also looking for Toxfin for my Amalgadon. I'm also looking for, like, any kind of buffs. It's, uh, actually been pretty terrible luck. But whatever. Oh, there's most of the shit I would want. Oh! Got George down for you. Don't need ghouls anymore. He survived an 82 lethal. 82 lethal? What the hell's in store for me? Better hire a recruit while you can. Better hire a recruit while you can. You down a minion and up a goal. There it is. Oh, my God. 
Well, I think I will save it a turn. Yes. This is good. All right. All right. Drop Light Fang next turn. Probably, yeah. Uh, why buff the elemental Everyone's instead of the cleave? That's debatable. We'll see. Excellent hit. Excellent hit. Pretty good hit. Oh, he died of the ghost. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, babe. Okay, let's get some poisons going here. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Uh, damage taken nine to eighteen. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. You doubt a minion? Up Have a go. Thirty-six. And yeah, that that cleave is gonna be pretty good, I think. And then poison comes in. I think I would need a double poison here, actually. Yeah, I think I think this is the play here. Uh oh. Wait, does that just win? Huh. Alright, that, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. The battle is really raging The learning experience. Another one there. Go ahead and hire one of All right, I'll go for that. Trust in the light. Harness your rage. All right. Thirty-nine. I think I actually need to back with those first. I gotta do a, a reverse, reverse cleave. This is like super weird, but. He's gonna he he's right to attack with the the wind fury first. We're probably gonna lose one or two of those. Yeah, it's a it's a reverse cleave play. I definitely lose one of those. Good hit. Got it. Not dead though, is he? Oh, he is dead! Him on six! Easy. There you go. Easy. You can't believe I actually won. You're feeding me wins. I drained your MMR. You want to be paid? <laughs> what if I pay you in entertainment? It's like, and I'm also, I'm also teaching you how to play, so it's like. It's one of those, you know, give give a fish, he eats for a day, and then, like, teach him to fish, he eats for life. So, basically, you should subscribe with Twitch Prime to thank me after that valuable lesson. That's basically the moral of that story. <laughs>